Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back in the shop and I wanted to do kind of like an update video on my styling. So I've got a Wookie, a Chewy head sitting here on the tripod and I'm going to show you what I've been using to style this or to style these masks it is actually a, like a curling wand. One of these guys. This beautiful pink curling wand here is what I'll be using. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and we'll get going. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn it on and the lowest setting that this one goes to is, let me get this off, hair off of here, is 266. So I'm going to let it warm up. It doesn't take very long. It's getting warm already. <coughs> and then we'll get going. Alright, it's warmed up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and start. What, I'm gonna, what I usually do is I'll first I'll remove, because I have this little uh, this thing to kind of keep the nose hairs that are right on the bridge of the nose. Put, I use like a little t-shirt. You can see that on the last uh, styling video on my YouTube page, or not my YouTube page, my Facebook page. I just use a piece of a t-shirt and like a popsicle stick. So I'm going to take that out. Let me get that out of there first. And I just use the, the popsicle stick and kind of hold the hairs down and pull that out of there. So it keeps that nose somewhat straight, the nose hairs. So the first thing that I'll do with the curling wand is I like to kind of, and I only hold it on there for a few seconds, maybe like seven seconds at the most at 266. I'll take it and I'll go right over the right over the brow. So I'm going to zoom, I'm going to I'm going to bring it closer so that you can see. A little bit better. You won't be able to see my ugly face, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I take it and I put it right over top of the like on the side of the brow there, and I'll just hold it for a few seconds. Do the other side, count to like seven. There we go. Now the cheeks, just put it right there on the, kind of on the side right here of the cheek. I'm just kind of place it there, hold it for seven seconds. And you kind of, you can kind of like, not brush it with this, but like slide it across the hair slowly and it'll help that hair stay flat. Just don't want to keep it on there too long because this is synthetic hair and it will burn. It's looking pretty good. Now under the chin, I'll take this and I will just stick it on there right under the lip and I'll just hold it for a few seconds. Same way and I'm just going to kind of start at the top and then work my way down about, I don't know, an inch and a half under the under the lip or where the hair starts. Just slowly moving it down. This is just helping form right under 
that lip, like on the chin. That's better. <clears throat> so, I'll go ahead and show you on this mask, because this is a, uh, I usually don't do this for all the masks. I don't curl the hair because some people like it straight, some people like it rough, but I usually just leave it straight like this. But what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to show you how I curl the, the beard. So I'll just start with this side right here. All I do is I kind of wrap the end there and then I roll it, roll it up on this. Count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you get like kind of a more of a wavy texture to it. So I will brush that back and go right underneath it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let it go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This just kind of gives it a little more animal look to it. Like animals really, or Chewy has kind of some waves in his hair. It's not perfectly straight. So I just do this for my own, own mask. And if you get kind of like a tangle or something, you just kind of stretch it out with your fingers while it's still warm and you'll be fine. You can, it, you do have the possibility of burning the hair doing this, so be really careful. Kind of play with it, uh, maybe under the beard or something, just to see how long you can hold it on there because you don't want to you don't want to hold it on there too long and then burn it. But I know that about 7 seconds at 266 is, is okay with what I'm doing. 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Whenever I get over to this side, you'll be able to see a little bit better. And under the beard. Right now I'm kind of working on this other side. so. Do the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just getting some of those waves in there. I'm gonna go right underneath the beard there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just adding in some kind of like texture in the hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See how it kind of gives it a little bit of a some curl to it. It's not just perfectly straight now. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, six, seven. on this side there hopefully you can still see so I just grab it hold it I don't want to touch the end of the, or the hot part <laughs> and I just kind of wrap it one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's looking pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so this really, it only takes a couple minutes, you know, and you, and you start to get more of a animal look to this hair. Because this is synthetic hair, I mean, you try to make it look as real as you can. One more spot here. Maybe a little bit of the side. All right, there we go. So now <clears throat> I'm going to use the blow dryer and some hairspray. So we got some waves in the hair now. Let me unplug this guy. <clears throat> this part is really easy to do and it will really help to like hold the hair in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the area that I want to stay down. I'm going to put my hand on it like that and I'll put the heat from the blow dryer right on that, directly on that spot. So I'm going to do the right brow first. Put a little hairspray on there. Get some of those straggler hairs up there. Grab the old blow dryer and I'm going to put the heat directly on that spot and I'm holding it flat against, I'm holding it flat against the skull because I want that detail to come out. stick to you sometimes but see that stayed right against the skull now flat just what I wanted it to do we're probably going to come back to the the curling wand here in a little bit and I'll show you what I do for right above the right above the bridge of the nose so let's do this other brow come over here Get the stragglers, hold my hand right over top of the brow, pressing down to give it the definition that I want. It's sticking to me pretty good. All right, there we go. And then turn the heat on.
that's staying down now. Now you can feel it. You don't want to hold this heat on there too long. Once you feel it start to dry, you can kind of let go a little bit and you'll see if it's going to hold or not. And that held great. So now I'll do underneath the lip here. Actually, let's do the let's do the mustache first. So I'll do the right side of the mustache. This uh, we got some stragglers hanging out. Just give it a couple of sprays. Hold down the mustache and press against the cheek, and then turn the heat on. stayed down really good. Let me come up close so you can see that. So you can see I did this side. See how this is staying down flat? This side's still kind of sticking out. We'll do that side now. Hit it with a hairspray. Get the stragglers. and hold it flat against the cheeks. You might have to hold your tripod so it doesn't slide, but hold it flat against the cheeks there and the hair down. Hit it with the heat. staying down too. So now we'll do right directly underneath the chin. You don't want to go too far because you go too far it kind of has a weird look to it. So you just kind of come maybe down about an inch and a quarter and you'll hold it. First to spray it. Hold it down. Turn the heat on. All right, there we go. We got that good. So now, the next part, <laughs> I need to plug the wand back in, and we're going to do this right here above the, uh, the bridge of the nose. We need to flatten that down so it gives it a little more definition. I just forgot to do it whenever I, was, I had the wand plugged in. <laughs> So what I do here is I'll take this wand, hopefully it's focusing on this part, and I will press it down right on that spot, right in the middle of the forehead. Hold it down for a second, then swap to this other side and do the same thing. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to get some definition right up above that bridge of the nose. we go so now we got a little definition right there as you can see that the the highlights are kind of like right over the brow do a little bit more shaping here just kind of got to play with it a little bit I mean there we go Puff, puff the head up a little bit. 
let's get a little bit of this down here on the cheeks just sticking the wand pretty much in the eye socket there and pressing down and moving it down the cheeks that's just gonna lay it flatter on the on the cheek there we go all right I'll back it up here and you can see what it looks like. There he is. Nice and styled. Ready to go. Now on my personal mask, because when you when you wear it, it you move your head a lot, so the hair moves quite a bit. So my personal mask, I would spray this down quite a bit more hairspray just to hold especially the face section down and then I'll pro I would probably hairspray the top also to keep it so when I, if I bend down or anything the hair doesn't just all come forward so you know just kind of play around with it see how much hairspray you need uh, if you all if you want to reactivate the hairspray just hit it with some water and you can do pretty much the same thing that you do with the hairspray like when you initially spray it but there you go here's the hairspray I'll link this in the description let's see if it'll this is the hairspray that I use and so I will link that in the description and I appreciate y'all watching I hope y'all have a good day and please like comment subscribe follow me on Instagram at captain underscore nader and my facebook group is captain's workshop not workshop workshop as wookie as in wookie all right y'all have a good day bye